welcome to the Sailor Moon Cosmic Power uh, Rewind. Speaking of out of their mind. seals. <laughs> seals. <laughs> Anyways, da, 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 this episode da, da, is. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's seals. Seal. Seal. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't do All it. Right. You're going to you're going to sing me just sleep. Like. Right. From not the top, but the top of this. Yes, section. season one, episode three: the mysterious sleeping sickness protect the girls in love. Special thanks to SailorMoon.Fandom.com for this week's episode summaries and more. Like it. This is episode three overall of Sailor Moon. Original air date in Japan was March 21st, 1992. Uh, the Deke dub was September 12th, 1995, and the Viz Media, Viz Media dub was May 19th, 2014. Wow, that's a big, that's like, <laughs> what, almost 20 years later. Yeah. Wow, wow. All right, so here we go into the synopsis of our episode. All the girls in town are tuning into the late night radio program called Midnight Zero that reads out love letters sent in by listeners. Meanwhile, a strange sleepy sleeping sickness is plaguing the town, causing people to fall into a coma-like state, including Miss Harana and Naru. Not Naru. Not Naru. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sailor Moon Season 1, Episode 3, The Mysterious Sleeping Sickness, Protect the Girls in Love. Oh my titles are great. Uh, I love the titles. Uh, we'll get into what it was called in the Deke version later on. So, what did we think of this episode, Matthew? I must say that I really enjoyed this episode. Um, so, looking at it through the, the lens of this being the second episode, yeah. because they originally cut the second episode, yeah. um, it feels a little... Uh, I mean, it's not Sailor Moon's fault, obviously, but yeah. like... Deke was really not doing themselves any favors. No, they wasn't. Because, like, you compare it to the first episode where it's like, oh, hey, women getting their souls sucked away. <laughs> and now this one, oh, hey, women getting their souls sucked okay, away. Yeah. You know? um, but uh, that aside, uh, I did think that it was it was a fun episode. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> one thing that I thought was, it was funny, like, it made more sense by the time we got to the end of it. Yeah. But such an intricate plan. Yes. To steal the life force. Oh, like yes. it's not only just a radio show <laughs> that, that they fully produced, right? Yeah. On a nightly basis. It, it, listen, it they... was, well, well, hang on. It was also they they got fan mail. Yes. Then they would mail the people that sent fan mail the charms to where, which would then steal the life force. That's a lot of steps yeah. for just stealing life force, you know? Oh yeah. That's now, that's what they do. I will say, in the episode, they did make it clear that oh, because people that are in, in love, love or whatever, they give off more love for. Yeah. So yeah, okay, sure, that's fine. But Listen, still, there's that's always intricate. bizarre, intricate scenarios where they want to get people's energy. Yeah, uh, yeah. So just get used to it. Just get used to it. Which I will say, I did. I did enjoy. I'd rather it be an intricate plot like yeah. this as opposed to like Power Rangers, where it's just hey, let's send some putties. Hey, let's send yeah. a bad guy. Let's do Zords and it's over. You know, like it's yeah. just the same. You can literally set your watch to Power Rangers, yeah. you know? Uh, so I like the fact that they changed it up. And like, you know, it being something as, as mysterious as like a, 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 a weird uh, midnight show on the radio yeah. that like they don't even know exists. Like it has kind of a like a tinge of horror to it, you know? Uh, which I'm starting to see is in pretty much every episode so far. Yes. So there's a bit of a horror sense yes. to Sailor Moon. Uh, which I really dig. Like, I yeah. figured it'd be more of a sci-fi, but, like, I like the fact that it's kind of leaning more into the horror side of stuff. Oh, okay. Like, it's really cool. Um, but, no, and obviously, uh, you know, new powers and stuff. 
uh, getting to see uh, uh, Usagi and her dreams and all that. Like, I don't know. It was, I, I really liked yeah. it. It was a good episode. I really enjoyed um, it. This is one episode I think I always got to see more than the others. Um, because especially on Toonami, once they ran out of episodes, they just started all over again. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I feel like I always caught this episode more than any of the others. And it always stands out in my mind. It's, this is when she gets the moon pin. Yeah. I had to think yeah. about it for a second because I was about to call it the Deke version. That's what I was used to. <laughs> what the what the Deke version? Uh, Luna pin. The Luna pin? Yeah. Oh, my God. Did she say gorgeous reporter in the Deke dub? No, she did, but we'll get into that later. Oh, okay, my bad. My yeah, bad. it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, what a 90s, such a 90s thing, uh, talk radio, you know. Oh, I know. God. Such uh, Delilah, yes. you know. <laughs> always asking for, like, love advice and stuff. So yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've always liked this episode. Uh, also, because uh, Us- uh, Usagi gets the short haircut when she's in her disguise. Yeah. I always thought that was cute. And you know what else I think is cute? What's that, Maggie? That this episode is brought to you by, <laughs> brought to you by, in part, by a free 30-day <laughs> trial of Amazon Prime. This sounds like country music in a way. Listen, the music is on a loop. I, I just know. unmute it's it. Okay. okay. <laughs> it just caught me off guard. <laughs> Have you ever wanted access to a world of entertainment, speedy deliveries, and exclusive deals? With Amazon Prime, you can get all that and more. String thousands of movies and TV shows, including classics like Pokemon Gold and Silver, Yu Gi Oh! The Movie, and Digimon Adventure Try. Oh, listen. yeah! Listen to ad free music and enjoy unlimited reading. Plus, with Prom's fast and free shipping, you'll never have to wait long for your orders. Ready to experience the best of Amazon? Use our link in that, the description of this episode to sign up for a free 30 day trial of Amazon Prom Day today. <laughs> Discover all the benefits to see how it how it can make your life easier and more enjoyable. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm like slurring so bad. It's cracking me up. Maggie, I've told you, you gotta stop drinking before you do the ad reads. I I'm sorry, guys. Don't, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Don't miss out on this hopefully awesome opportunity. And now, back to the show. Well done. Well done. <laughs> you like just the hard cut on music. Yes. <laughs> Uh, that about put me under its spell hey you did great and now it's time for war what is it good for yeah so how has the plot progressed this week the overarching plot of queen barrel continues with another creep attack but ultimately does not push the plot more forward okay sad tangent here this is important not really i was listening to the lonely island and seth meyers podcast okay (laughs) and uh they were talking about dick in a box yeah of course and then that made me remember mother lover okay so i was listening to that that's that's what i've come to do is like i listen to the podcast whatever short they do if it's a song i then listen to that song right yeah so i was listening to it it goes off and then it plays a song that I forgot existed called The Creep. Do the creep, huh? Do the creep, huh? I, re- I remember right? that one. Right? Yeah. And like, I think we need to change out The Creep of the Week intro. We can. I'll be, I'm down oh, for it. Oh, man. Because that, uh, like, when I heard him do the huh for the first time, I, I was driving. I was crying. I was like... I was like, do I need to pull over? Because I'm laughing very hard at this, and I don't want to be putting anyone in danger. You'll wreck. <laughs> well, luckily, I made it home safe, and everything's yes. okay. So, creep okay. of the week. Creep of the week. Which is not where we are. No. But just that you said creep, it made me think yeah, of that. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jade Eye also explains why he was taking energy from young girls in love. He tells Queen Beryl about how their energy is stronger for their master. Master? Masked Sa- Rider. Sailor Moon and J- <laughs> Jade Eye finally have a head to head fight, but he gets away. May I say that Usagi shows some badass energy in this scene? She really is trying. Yeah. No, yeah, I, that's my viewpoint. Right? No, Sorry. you're fine. You're good. I liked it. Um, yeah. It, I, I thought it was kind of funny 
that he's just like, you know, and I kind of appreciated that, that like, she wasn't just immediately good. Mm-hmm. Hang on, I'm about to burp. <sighs> sorry. So sorry about that. I just I finished this Coke and Monsters. So I'm like, Bleh. oh, God. Uh, yeah. Um, But like the fact that Usagi just got the powers and, you know, she's been beating the creeps pretty, pretty easily. Like, I mean, she's it's hard for sure. And like, you know, she but when she like actually uses her powers, it, yeah. it just works. Right. Uh, so I appreciated the fact that they had her fight. Uh, was it J. Yeah. And um, that he just was like, like, it was nothing to him, you know? Yeah. Uh, I thought that made it feel a bit more real. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to just, oh, no, she can just beat whoever because she's Sailor Moon. And yeah. that's why, you know? <laughs> so I, I appreciated that. Uh, <clears throat> Usagi realizes her crush's tuxedo mask and writes a love letter to him at the end. Mm. <laughs> Who could be tuxedo mask? Could it be... To Sher Sherbert, what was that dude's name in the <laughs> the video game store? What was his name? Uh, Ma- Ma- Mateo. Ta- Shush, that's Spanish. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Mataco. 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 Yeah. Okay. Does she think that too? It is. I don't know. Who could it be? Who could it be? Who we could don't it be now? Now time is for the creep of the week. Do the creep, huh? Do the creep, huh? Major Funky. <laughs> like, it'll do that. Yeah. But instead of him saying Major Funky, it'll just be, it'll be three lonely on. Huh? <laughs> That's going to be hilarious uh, if I remember to do it. <laughs> so the creep of the week is, um, oh gosh, Far, Faru. I'm going to say Faru. Furo? For, now, it's not English, Matt. This is Japanese. So it's Fra. Well, it's F U R A U. Furaru. 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 It's a Yuma working under Tadai who was dispatched after he found a new source of human energy which expended on an emotion called love. The two antagonists began a midnight airing of a ride-in talk show on a Tokyo radio station, FM number 10. <laughs> FM number 10, your Call. only hot place for midnight zero. Call. Call. Oh no, I really wish I was in love. Don't want to miss out, hey baby. Only on FM 10, <laughs> the dick. Oh, okay. Uh called Midnight Zero where <laughs> listeners nothing. you gave me nothing for that <laughs> you deserved nothing <laughs> where listeners were encouraged to send in their love letters under the human disguise of a radio station manager Far would steal the energy from humans by mailing flower brooches charged with the dark energy to fortunate listeners who had their letters read by the Midnight Zero's host J. Dight. Uh, I get it now. I mean, I feel like <laughs> Tina film The Dick. I feel like that should have got some chuckle at least, Maggie. <laughs> I did chuckle a little bit. I'm All right. sorry. Hey, no, it's fun. All right. It's fun. Current ranking for the Creep of the Week is number one, Bomb, and number two, Morga. Where would you like to Bomb. Bomb. <laughs> Bomb. <laughs> Faru. Yeah. Uh, okay. You? Is Balm the. Uh, that was the tarot cards. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. I mean, I, I almost want to give bonus points for just how intricate this plan is, even though I feel like it's too intricate. Yeah. Like to their detriment, you know? Yeah. But like, I do appreciate the hustle. Like,. Yeah. I mean, they, they know they had to get like their uh their working visas <laughs> filled out you know uh they had to go through the hr placement mm-hmm. you know like i mean there was they worked there yes <laughs> you know oh, like, yes it's... that's a lot that's not just an easy thing to just start a job you know yeah and they get in all these letters and they're like oh where's these letters go to i don't know and yeah that <laughs> that chick shows up she's like i'll take them for you i mean does not question who she is or yeah anything. they at least put a dozen hours into this so i'm gonna say i'm gonna say above morga 
But I feel like Balm is still... Yeah, Balm's stronger, I think. And not even just stronger, but like the... What she could cause, like the assault stuff on Usagi. I feel like that was a bit more hardcore. Yes. So I would say number two. Okay, I agree. All right. I will add it to the list. Number two, Furao. Furao. Now it's time for the deep dub. (laughs) Dick. (laughs) I didn't mean to hit it that quick. My finger actually slipped on the button. It's okay. (laughs) My bad. Anyways, uh, tonight's episode title would have been, uh, back in the day, Talk Radio. (laughs) That's terrible. Yes, it is. Uh, like they gave us like a seven-page essay for a title, and yeah. then Dick is like, "Talk radio." Yeah, talk radio. We're just going to shorten it, guys. Next radio. name. Next name. <laughs> uh, this episode was the second episode of both the Korean and English dubs. Nice. The Deke dub had a number of changes made. Here we shocked. go. I'm shocked. The cold open of Usagi introducing herself was cut. 30 seconds cut. Like where she goes, I'm 14 years old and I'm a cancer. My blood type is O positive. I think that's Because I am O positive. You'll love this show. <laughs> Luna looking starry out at Matoki was cut. For Matoki. Yeah, Matoki. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because he's being sweet to her. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yay <laughs> perhaps she thinks he's the guardian of the moon maybe <laughs> a scene of usagi laying down on her uh on her laying down on her paper and sighing was cut for tom so like whenever she was trying to write a letter she's like i don't know how to write a love letter oh uh, yeah, yeah she's yeah. laying her head down so that was cut out ah uh, i gotcha the scene in which usagi has hearts in her eyes was cut However, the scene also appeared in the Sailor Says segment. I wonder why they cut that out. No telling. Deke had their own agenda. God, Deke. Several other scenes were shortened, and all one minute and ten seconds were cut. Midnight Zero is re, uh, is renamed to the North American dub uh, <laughs> Love Line. I am so sorry. It's okay. I will say <sighs> Love Line is kind of a better name than Midnight Zero. Like, yeah. maybe even, like, Midnight Love or something? Uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Booty call. Welcome uh, to Midnight Love on the dick. Okay. Okay, <laughs> moving on. The disguise pin is renamed in the North American dub to Luna Pin. Usagi's disguise description changes from being a gorgeous newscaster to a sophisticated talent agent in the deep dub. Boo. After Tuxedo Mask throws his rose and Jadeite Jedi leaves, Usagi says that the rose must have magical powers. And it doesn't, it right? Doesn't. It's just it's a, a rose. King rose. <laughs> All right, now it's time for Can You Spot the Difference? Sailor Moon! Sailor Moon! <laughs> all right so this is where we compare the episode to the manga the disguise pin that usagi gets is first shown in this episode however in the manga it doesn't appear until act two of the manga which is episode eight of the anime oh, anime okay additionally in the manga usagi got the disguise pin from one of the machines at the video game center huh so the video game center became like a big Play, uh, big setting for the Sailor Scouts and stuff. It's kind of like a command center. Kinda. Okay. Um, and Crystal, they use it a little bit more. They where they stick to the manga more closely. Yeah, yeah. But this one's like it's more or less a hangout. Yeah, sometimes some things may come out of the vi- video game machines for them, but. So like, does Luna put them in the video game machine? Or <laughs> I always had this idea in my mind that she has her own little seat and she. <laughs> Pushes all these items into the machines. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's so, never explained. No, it's not. Wow. It's not. So does the show ever have things come out of the machines at the video game? Or is that just nixed totally from the show? I don't know. I can't remember. That's okay. I just, I mean, I didn't I know. can't remember. Yeah. So if it does, it's at least not a huge thing. No. Okay. Can uh well you're getting ready to talk about the, the gadgets, so yes. we'll 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 cover what <laughs> I'm gadget. gonna ask there. 
Now it's time for puberty, but with superpowers. Bye-bye. Yeah. Big change. Bingo. I got you, boo. Thanks, boo. <laughs> Luna gives Sailor Moon a new gadget. It's the disguise pin. Just say moon power, then whatever you want to be disguised as. Okay. So I didn't know this existed. Or I may have and forgot. Yeah. But so like, okay, she can transform into Sailor Moon. Yeah. And now she's got a pin where she can just turn into whatever. So, But that's a different power than turning into Sailor Moon? Yes, it's a different power. Because it's more or less a disguise so she can sneak into places better. So, okay, let me let me put this in Power Ranger language. Okay. So when she turns into Sailor Moon, that's when she's, like, morphing. Yes. And when she uses the disguise pin, that's, like, when she becomes the Ninja Ranger. Where yeah. it's, like, yeah. it doesn't really do anything, but, like, you look a little different, and then you yeah. still morph into a, a real Power Ranger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Pretty much, So, yeah. like, she couldn't say, like, I'm a... a uh, what is it? Disguise moon power, a bumblebee, and like fly around as a bumblebee. No, uh, no, no. Okay, it's always like a person, like a job, okay. like a person job. And so, like, it has to like fit like what she is. It's almost yeah. like a like Mission Impossible. Like, yeah, pretty you know, much. Like you know, Ethan Hunt's but not going to grow like eight feet or whatever. <laughs> her hair changes with it, but her uh, face uh, face stays the same. Thank you. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, so her body like stays the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, her like, clothes will change. Her hair will change. Maybe makeup. Maybe some other tops of jewelry. Okay. Because yeah. like I didn't know if like where she became a reporter. I didn't know if like it was just she looked like she was older, or if yeah. like it actually made her like physically older. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, like I mean, if it, the disguise itself made her look older, obviously. Yeah. But like I didn't know if it also like. If this was a real, if this was like a, a live action thing, if we'd be like, um, like Mystique, right? Where like, uh, in first class when she was older, she was Rebecca Romaine. Yeah. Right. And like they, sh they use that to show that. So like, yeah. does she actually appear older or is it just her haircut and her dress like makes her look older? I think it's haircut and okay. dress stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Interesting. Right. Interesting. And now it's time for That's Just Prime. Whoop, whoop. Well, that's just prime. All right. Here's some, well, they didn't really have like favorite quotes picked out off of the fandom site. Okay. So I went through and found my favorite moments or okay. sayings out of it. So this is a whole conversation. This is when they took Miss Harana by ambulance out of the school because she fell asleep and they couldn't wake her up. Oh, uh, okay. So I'll be Usagi. You could be Naru. No, and then Naru? Naru's her best friend with the red Okay, hair. gotcha. Not Brainy or whatever. Well, Brainy does show up towards the end. Okay. Umi, umi, no, umi, you, you, no. want, you want me to be him also? Because okay. they're together, like, talking at the same time. <laughs> Got it. I All can right. do it. Usagi. I didn't realize a teacher is so exhausting. You know, I heard someone talking the other day about how there's some kind of illness going around where people fall asleep and never wake up again. What? Seriously? So you get to spend your entire life asleep? I'm jealous. What? You're jealous? <laughs> yeah, because you get to spend your whole life dreaming. And I would imagine that would be a whole lot of fun. Oh, soggy. Shit. <laughs> oh, ho. God. <laughs> Sorry. That's my Brady impression. <laughs> His name's never been Brady. All right, you want me to be Mamaru? <laughs> yeah, be Mamo Chan. Very polite of you to apologize to a telephone pole. I know walking and talking at the same time is difficult for you, but you should really pay attention to where you're going, Bunhead. Uh, but weirdo. <laughs> can I just start saying Butthead and no. stuff? No. Can I make him into Biff? What's where you're going, Bunhead? Okay. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll read uh, what Luna says. Luna, I think there's something uh, nefarious going on or, uh, at that radio station. I must you want to try that again? I can't. I can't do it again. 
I can't do it again. I mostly picked that one because she says nefar- nefarious. 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 Thank you so You're much. You're right. Hey, just think Thank Nosferatu. Nefarious. It means it's You're French for, for no pants. <laughs> All right. And now the last one. This is when she uses the moon pin for the first time. The disguise pin. You want me to be Luna? Yeah. Okay. Usagi. Moon power. Turn me into a gorgeous newscaster. <gasps> so cool. I'm all disguised now. Really? Did you need to add the gorgeous part, Usagi? That's my Luna impression. It's yes. not great. It's no. not great. It's not a great impression. All right, now it's time for Sailor Moon references. Part of a bigger universe, you just don't know it yet. Ooh. Part of a bigger universe, <laughs> you just don't know it yet. All right, so this episode features the first time that Usagi met Jadeite. It is also the first time she engages Jadeite in combat directly. Jadeite is also the first enemy in the series to be immune to Moon Tiara action. Ooh. This is also the first time Usagi uses Moon Tiara action twice in one episode. Oh, this is also the first time an attack, in this case Moon Tiara action, is used without its stock footage animation. Oh, that is true. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Wow. After Usagi slams down her notebook, a small sticker that bears a resemblance of Bugs Bunny's head can be found at the top of the notebook. <laughs> That's it's great. true. I saw a, a still of it. It it's a green rabbit, That's but great. it's it's far from looking like bugs. <laughs> That's great. I love that. Uh, and now it's time for Sailor Says. You become part of a bigger universe. Wait, that's the wrong one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye now. There we go. My bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so, <laughs> the PSA for Sailor Says on the Deke episode was, Daydreaming is rad. <laughs> Daydreaming is so rad. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> like that's pretty much all it said. Yeah, the, the, it's just true. <laughs> so nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, the special things the sailor says on YouTube. They have archived every sailor says from the deep dub. Uh, we love it. Yes, love sailor says. It's probably my favorite part of all of Sailor Moon's entire history. <laughs> really no nah, i'm fucking lying <laughs> it's just funny it's a fun thing it's right. I'm, I'm glad they didn't dub those <laughs> all right next week on sailor moon cosmic power rerund next time gadget next time all right so next week we have season one episode four learn how to be skinny from usaki <laughs> oh jesus how to be skinny is she like a workout yeah. instructor she's like working out a lot she's trying to get herself in shape and stuff but also there's like a new fad or trend that came uh, into town okay so the the freak or the creep of the week is like uh what's that lady's name from greece <laughs> more specifics on on the, which the, lady you know the main one that's like talking about it stud Olivia Newton John. Yeah. Yeah. So the cream of the week is like Olivia Newton John. <laughs> Let's get physical. Physical. I want to get physical. Let me see you say the draw. That's it. That's all I got. It wasn't great. Good job, man. Hey, I tried. You know, I tried. You tried. Shh. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. I'm ready to go with. <laughs> hey, Maggie, you did a bang up job tonight. But you know what? The show must end, unfortunately, uh, because this has been our weekly Sailor Moon vodcast, the Sailor Moon Cosmic Power Rewind. Uh, remember, if you'd like to support the channel, you can head over to patreon.com slash hopefully awesome or join us as a member right here on youtube.com slash hopefully awesome. Get your name in every episode, get access to Google Drive, all that fun stuff. Uh, remember, this is also a podcast. So, Maggie, did you know that this is available on both Spotify and Apple Podcasts? What? Yeah, so make sure you go over there and listen to it and, and rate it and all that fun stuff. It, it definitely helps us out. 
Um, and hey, don't forget this episode brought to you in part by a free 30 day trial of Amazon Prime. Yeah. Be sure and use the link in the description of this episode to get your free 30 days and tell Jeff Bezos to cram it up his ass. Yeah. That's right. I like that. We'll be back again next week, live Wednesday at nine with another edition of Sailor Moon Cosmic Power Rewind. But that's going to wrap it up for us, everybody. Oh my God. Thanks for watching. And as always, have a pleasant day. Bye. Oh.